Hello, all you my education need to select my courses for next year kind of people. Welcome to your course selection training video. Uh, you will notice here I have already logged in. I am assuming that you can log in. When you log in, it automatically logs into the Pages tab up here near the top of the screen. We don't want to be on the Pages tab, so click on My Info. Once you click on it, you notice the My Info turns orange, and you're going to scroll down, or not scroll down, but go down to the left-hand side and look for the word that says Request. Request. Here, the word highlighted by my little finger there. And we're going to go Requests. Now, this is important. You need to read the instructions very carefully. Your instructions will be specific to your grade level and to the school you're at. This will tell you what courses you need to select, how many courses you need to select, how many alternate courses you need to select. Read through this carefully. Now you'll notice here that I have some core courses that I need to take. I also have the option to take three electives and I must choose two alternate electives. To make those selections, you're gonna scroll down the page a little ways till you get to where it says primary requests and alternate requests. In order to select your courses, you're going to click on, you guessed it, the gray select button. Select on the gray select button will bring up a pop-up window, and in the instructions it will tell you how many courses you need to select. In this case, I need to select one retire, required course. I'm going to make sure to select English 10, um, just because I'm moving into 10, and that seems like a good course for me to take. Once you're done doing that, you hit OK. And you'll notice, once I've clicked on OK, that I've got the information entered here. It says English 10 under course description. Now I'm gonna move down to select other. Uh, select other is a bit different here simply because when you read the instructions, you'll notice it says select three elective courses. You must select three courses. If you look over here where my mouse is, sort of to the right hand side above all my course selections, it says zero of 31 selected. You're gonna to wanna to make sure before you click okay that says three of 31 selected. So going through these courses, you know what? I love my woodwork class. It's the best class in the court in the school. I'm definitely going to select that one. That's just me. Maybe you're different. In order to see what other choices you have here, you have two options. You can click on the drop-down menu and choose the next page, or you can simply click on this little gray area er, arrow, and that will take you to the next. Scrolling through here, I might look. Oh, hey, I kind of like guitar. I could make a guitar in my woodwork class and then play my guitar in guitar class. How cool is that? I've still only got two of 31 selected. You can see in the top right hand corner here. So I need to find something else to take. And you know what? I absolutely love the French language. I think French is the language that we should all learn. Parlez-vous français? Like they like to say, clicking on French. You know, so now I have three of 31 selected courses. I need to select three courses. I can now click OK. Now I went ahead earlier and selected some of my other courses because I wanted to hurry up the video. If you'll notice, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight courses selected, and you must have eight timetable in timetable courses selected. Now, if you want to do a bit more and you want to take an out of timetable course, that's okay. You can select this other option. I'm not actually going to do this right now, just to keep it simple. Once you've done that, you're going to click on alternate requests where it says select other. You'll notice here, I was told to select two other electives. I have selected two other electives. Um, you can go through and select them. Finally, you have notes for counselor. This is where you're going to want to leave your notes for your counselor. Please make sure those notes are important. Counselors have to read through these for every single student we have in the school. We're going to want to make sure that uh, we don't increase their workload. If you do need to communicate something to them, though, that is the spot to do it. If at this point you're not able to fill all eight of your in timetable courses and your alternate courses, don't panic. The system automatically saves it for you. At this point, you could just click out, click on another tab, log out of the program, and come back later and choose your courses. You have the time to think about it. You have until the due date, in fact. You're going to need to pay attention to that due date because once it comes, you will not be allowed to make any changes. Once you've made your courses and you've selected them all, you're not quite done. This is very, very important. Down the bottom, there's a button that says post. Until you click on post, your counselor will not be able to see that. They will not know what courses you want. You must click on post before the due date. If you notice there, a green little window popped up quickly and said, hey, congratulations, you did it. It's green. Woohoo! If the box is red, you need to fix something. Once you're done doing that, if you'd like to go through a window that might be a little easier to see the list of courses you've selected, you can exit the entry mode. And you do that by clicking up in the top left corner here on 
exit entry mode. And you can see a nice easy table of all the courses and electives or an alternates you selected. If you need to get back into entry mode, you click on, that's right, entry mode, and that will take you right back. That is the end of this video for you. I would encourage you, if you run into any problems, not to talk to the computer. It won't talk back. Go see a real live person. Thank you very much.